guys, so this video we're going to talk about importing media from your camera into your computer. Now why is this important? Because you can never, ever, 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 ever under any circumstances take the SD card out of your camera. Why? Because then you might forget to put it back in, you could lose it, someone could take it, and then the next person who takes out that kit and having a camera with no SD card, right? Anyway, the process to do it from your camera is fairly simple and you can just plug it in. There you go, I'll talk you through it. It's really easy to do. All right, so all you're gonna need is your camera and you're also gonna need a mini USB to USB cable. If you don't know what that is, run it through your kit and you can find one of these. You have to look for the USB icon, have a closer look. It's this little alien thing and you will find that on the cables and on the bits of your camera and the computer where it has to go. Right, see, so there it is again. It's very easy to find and it's on the bit of the camera that you can see if you open up the LCD panel. So it'll be on your right where all the other cables that can take video out of your camera are going to be. But right now we only need to use the USB one, right? So get your camera, get your cables and then just plug it in. The little bit goes into the camera. Be gentle, don't yank things around. And then the other normal USB goes into the back of your computer. Whoops, right way around. There we go. Now that that has happened, this is going to show up on your LCD panel. You have to click PC to connect it. And if you don't have enough battery, this is going to show up. Now that you have set your recorder to PC, and remember that it has to be plugged into a power source. If not, it's just going to die mid-process, and that's going to give you tons of headaches. Right, so once you've got your camera connected to your computer, a couple things are going to happen. Other programs that use photography and video like iPhoto are going to pop up. You will want to close that. Those have very, very different ways of importing files that you really don't need or even want to deal with right now. Okay, so all you have to do is give them a little bit of time, wait for them to open up properly. It will take them a bit of a process. And then if you hit Command Q, you can very quickly close it. Sometimes programs aren't as obedient as they should be. But as you can see on my desktop, I have here a hard drive for the camera and I can even click it and go inside and see the files. But video files tend to be in a format that needs to be processed through Final Cut Pro anyway. So don't start getting adventurous and dragging those onto your desktop, right? Let's do this right. So now we're gonna open up Final Cut Pro. Now the process that I'm gonna explain to you right now is exactly the same for importing files from your camera as it is from a USB stick or files on your desktop or, in, or files in any folder that you've got anywhere anyway. There's just one little difference and I'm going to point it out in a bit and it's crucial and it's vital and you are going to hate yourself if you don't remember it, right? You need to make sure that a certain box is ticked that says that it's going to copy the folders onto Final Cut Pro. And this is important because then if someone takes that USB stick away or anything, then you will still have files to work with. Now this is Final Cut Pro and there's another video that you can look at for the geography of how everything is laid out, but for now we're going to go straight into the importing. So you click on File up here in your top left hand corner, come to import and media. This is going to lead to another window that gives you a bunch of options of where you can bring files in. If you look on this side, you have, you can bring stuff in from your camera. You can also use the webcam on your computer, hello, to record directly onto it. You can, it recognizes devices and hard drives and you can also import files from your desktop or any other place in your computer. But for now, we're going to go for the camera. So click on that and it displays all of the clips that are held within this camera. All right, they're organized by date, so that makes it easier to find. So I want the ones that I have recorded today, 35th, 31st, and there we are. Bunch of cat videos that I found for you guys just as an exercise. You can actually click through each of these videos and play them out just to make sure that these are the files that you actually need. You don't want to be importing little files that are useless or if you have a botched interview or something has really terrible audio that you're not going to use anyway, might as well not import it, right? So once you've found the files that you want to import, mine start from 40 to 44, you can do this several ways. Stop that from running because if not, it, it goes a little bit crazy. You can either click each one and move over here to import selected or you can click the first one and hold down the shift key. The shift key has a little arrow pointing towards the top and that makes a group selection so it's easier, it just brings everything in. Now you can click on import selected. Another dialog box is going to pop up and this is very important. Now it's asking me if I want to add it to an existing event or to a new event. Think of events like projects. Event is a really weird word but in essence that's what it means. 
it's a project, it's a it's a big folder that holds all of your work. So I don't want the cat videos to go into the admission videos that I'm working on. I want them to come into a new project all of their own. So I'm gonna click on create new event and write cat videos. Now, if you were recording from anywhere else but your camera, this means a USB stick or a file on your computer, you need to make sure that this little box is ticked. This is crucial. It says copy files to Final Cut Events folder. If you don't do this, you're going to be able to work with the files just fine, but it's not going to keep a backup of them on your computer. So if you're working from a stick and someone takes it away, your video is not going to work anymore because it's not going to have the files there that it needs to. Or if you're working from a file that you have in your desktop and you move that because you go through a cleaning frenzy, then it's not going to find it either. So make sure this little box is ticked, right? Ignore all of the rest because that's just about um, color balance and analysis, but you can do that later on in effects and I can talk you through it. Right, so come down here and click on import. You can see how it's a bit gray and highlighted and flashing ready to be clicked. Now once the import process starts, you're gonna see two things. One, these little donut things on the edge of the videos which basically light up as pie charts to let you know how much of the video has actually been imported. And the other thing is, that you have a spinning circle here in the middle. If you click that once, it brings up this dialog box that says that background tasks. And that shows you how much of the rendering is done, how much of the um, importing media is done. So you need to wait until that runs all the way through. And then you have this wonderful circle that says 100% with green around it. That means the computer has done its job. Now these videos are really quick because it's only 30 second videos of, of cat stuff that I've put on here just as an exercise. But if you've been out recording and you have half an hour of an interview, it is going to take some time. So don't get frustrated. Let it run its course. If you start clicking around and dragging files to your timeline and doing other fancy things while this is going on, Final Cut can get freaked out and just quit working. And what happens is that it doesn't import them correctly or it imports them as corrupted files and you really don't want that. So just make sure that you wait until this import is finished. Have a cup of tea, relax a little bit, and then you can start with your editing. And that's it. That's the end of the show.